Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps NSCDC in Abia has rescued 13 year old Udua Quili, a house help who reportedly jumped down from a two story building to evade punishment for alleged pilfering. The state commandant of the Corps, Mr. Vincent Ogu, said this in his office in Umaya on Tuesday, January 19, 2021. While briefing newsmen about the incident, which happened on January 8 at number 204 Ninja Stone on Enugu Porter Court Expressway near Ariaria Market, Aba, where we really live with a businessman, Emeka Igwe, and his wife, Anyekan. Ogu said the girl took the desperate action after she was accused of stealing 500 naira from the house and allegedly subjected to serious beating by Igwe and his wife. The commandant said that Igwe, along with his mother-in-law, 50-year-old Christiana Godwin, were arrested for their alleged involvement in child trafficking, child labor, domestic violence, and attempted murder. He said that the command was alerted about the ugly incident by the special advisor to the governor of teenage matters, Mrs. Chinime Ma Umesaka. When I got the disturbing information on the ordeal of the girl from Umesaka, I quickly mobilized my men and ordered them to rescue the victim and arrest the perpetrators of the dastardly and inhuman act against the minor, he said. He expressed the delight that Igwe was eventually lured out from his hiding and arrested by the ABA divisional officer, S.P. Uche Uduma, to face justice for his action. Ogu said that the command later took the victim to the Federal Medical Center, Umaya, where she underwent a series of tests, including chest X-ray, abdomen, ultrasound, and CT scan for the head, to abstain if she suffered any internal injuries. Also, the governor's aide, who condemned the ill treatment method to the girl, said the incident was made by via the social media. She said that the wife of the governor, Mrs. Nkechi Beazu, drew her attention to the online video and directed her to take the issue up with the NSCDC in order to rescue the girl and bring the suspect to book. She alleged that the suspect relocated out of Abia and went into hiding on the heels of the incident and turned down her request to hand over the girl to her office for appropriate med care. Narrating her ordeal to newsmen, the victim, who said that she came to live with Igwe's family in November, denied stealing the money. She also denied being pushed down by Igwe as alleged in the social media, saying that she took to her heels from the house and jumped down from the building to escape further beating. Igwe and his wife admitted beating her as a measure to make her admit stealing the money, but denied pushing her down from the building. Igwe also denied going into hiding saying that he took the girl to a clinic for treatment immediately after the incident. The girl was said to have been brought to the couple from Ododo in Estien Udim local government area of Akwaibom by Igwe's mother-in-law through the help of Umbakara. The commandant, however, said that circumstances surrounding the process of her coming to Abia suggested she might have been a victim of child trafficking. Meanwhile, he said the matter would be handed over to the appropriate agency for diligent prosecution at the end of the investigations. He admonished couples to always treat their house helps with love and like their own children, saying, let us do unto others as we would want them to do unto us. He promised that the command would continue to collaborate with relevant agencies in Abia in the fight against the child abuse, child trafficking, illegal adoption, child labor and molestation. From Lagos, this is Peace Mwabuku, News Express Nigerian Television.